So these are the rules that how we divide the word into syllables. So rule number one is that every syllable has one vowel sound. You cannot have more than one vowel sound in one syllable. Okay. Then rule number two is the number of vowel sounds in a word equals to are equal to the number of syllables. So in the word home, how many syllables are there? Two. No. How many vowel sounds are there when you say home? Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's one. One. Sorry. So it's one. Yes. A one syllable word is never divided. So home cannot be divided into a syllable. Stop cannot be divided into a syllable. Okay. Now in the word stop, you can see that st is a consonant blend. So we do not separate a consonant blend. It's together. Stop. Now consonant blends and digraphs are never separated. That's what I told you just now. So you can see here in the word resting, st is a consonant blend. So we cannot separate. Bush is a show is a digraph. You cannot separate. Ch is a digraph which cannot be separated. So consonant blends and digraphs are never separated. Now we have uh, previously discussed that some consonant blends are separated that we will be uh, discussing in these rules also. Okay. When a word has a CK or an X, then now in the word CK, we have two letters and in the word X, we have the sound of two letters K and S. But we cannot separate these uh, two letters. So whenever you have C and K together, you cannot separate. Like in the word nickel, nick, so C, K will go together. And in the word taxes, X will go this side. So the sim uh, in, a, in simple words, we can say that we cannot break this and this. Now, the, if there's a compound word, like in the word inside, you have in and side. So in and side, two words are there. So when you separate, you cannot break these words. So in will go separately and side. So you cannot break side. Because that's one word. So in a compound word, both the words are separated by uh, the by dividing the word into two parts. So a compound word is divided between the two words. Okay. Now when two or more consonants come between, now we have done that. If you have two consonants, then it's a consonant blend. Now, if you have more than two consonants, between two vowels, okay, if you have two or more consonants between two vowels, you have to divide the consonants. So, what is the way that you should divide? So, as we have discussed previously also, that a short vowel takes the consonant. So, I takes one consonant that is S. Okay, we have we have done this that whenever you have a short vowel, it has to be enclosed. It will be a CVC, consonant, vowel, consonant. So, cis, okay, and T comes with ER. Now, when a single consonant, now, for an example, you have only one. Here, though, it was easy because there were two consonants. So, one consonant goes with first uh, syllable and second consonant goes with the second syllable. But what about if you have only one consonant? Then who should take? Then definitely the CVC will take. The short vowel sound will take. Okay. So this will not have any consonant. So if you have only one consonant between two vowels in a word, it is usually divided after the consonant if the vowel is short. So short vowel takes that consonant. When a single consonant comes between two vowels in a word, but the, if there's no short sound, it's a long sound. If it is a long vowel sound, then 
it will not take the consonant. consonant. So it's basin. That's why we don't say basin. We say basin. Ba a is the long sound. So if it's a long sound, then it will not take the consonant. Now, if two vowels come together in a word and are sounded separately, divide the word between the two vowels. So we know that one vowel, there can be only one vowel in a syllable. Now, if there are two vowels, they're coming together, but they have their own sound, then we will have to keep them separate. So, pro, now O is a long sound, so it, it will not take N. But U is a short sound, so it takes N. Now here, E and A, both are vowels long. Uh, so they cannot come together in, a, in one syllable. So we have to divide this here. C, A, when you have this C, this E is short, but it does, it will not take a vowel. Okay, if there would be a consonant, it would have taken, but it will not take another vowel. And then shun. Okay. Then, when a vowel is sound alone in a word, again, if, it is, if there's a vowel which has one sound, okay, it forms a syllable itself. So you can say in the word graduate, this is one syllable because a is a will take this. Okay. And this is magic E. So this cannot be separated. So this U stands alone. Grad U is a long sound. Again, you can see that we have two vowel sounds, and these two vowel sounds are long. So they, we, they cannot come together. They have to be separated. Okay, now what is a prefix? Prefix means any count is the root word. Any word which comes before this root word becomes the prefix. So a prefix is divided, which, a word that has a prefix is divided between the root word and the prefix. So prefix has to be separated. When B, D, X and V are at the beginning of a word, they make a syllable of their own. So, again, these are also prefixes. B, D, X, V, they are prefixes. So, they will stand alone. And when you have a suffix, that suffix will also be kept as a different syllable. So, suffix will also become one syllable. Okay. Now, Whenever you have L-E, L-E gives the sound of schwa. So it is actually ul sound. And whenever you have an ul sound, it always takes the consonant. Okay. So that will, L-E will take the consonant. <clears throat> E-D is again a suffix. So if E-D is there, it will be separate because that's a suffix when ed comes at the end of a word it forms a syllable only when preceded t or t so we are keeping this as a single uh, syllable but the condition is that the letter before ed should be either d or t okay not for other words like if the word is looked here also we have ED, but K is there. It's not D or T. Then we will not separate. So can anybody tell me how many syllables are there in the word looked? We have discussed why we are, this D is sounding T. We have done this. Okay. So in the word looked, how many syllables are there? Looked, it's a unvoiced sound. How many syllables in the word looked? All of you quickly Google. Two. Okay, Google. Okay. 
one syllable ma'am yes it is only one there is no there is only one vowel sound which is oo sound is, can you hear any other vowel sound when you say looked only one vowel sound ma'am yes only oo sound is there okay so you have to say keep it separate only when you have letter d and letter t then rule number 17 says that when a word or syllable ends in al or el these letters usually form the last syllable so again al and e so l e takes the syllable uh, takes the consonant but el doesn't take the consonant okay we have just done that when you have al sound in l e it needs the consonant but e l does not take the consonant okay so these are the last syllable al Can you all quickly find out the pronunciation of the word usual? Uh, U.S. gives a sure pronoun, uh, so sound. Yes. U -sh oh, there is a mistake here. The, this U will not take S. That's a long sound. Okay. So there are three syllables. U, Ju, Al. Okay. Because if you take you, you, exact, logeto, then you, you has two vowel sounds. Right? And in one syllable, we cannot have two vowel sounds, right? When char and shan, so char, push, jar. So char is a suffix, shan is a suffix, so it will make their own syllable. Okay. They will be standing alone similarly ly is a suffix so that will also be separate from their own suffix ly okay only suffix a and t it does not stand alone okay it takes the consonant so, if your word ends in the noun suffix a and t preceded by a consonant or digraph, divide the word between the consonant or the digraph. So these are the rules of the syllables. Is there any doubt in these rules which we have done previously? We have done all these rules. Ma'am, can you explain me for this word? Uh, look. Which one? Syllabific. Look. L O K E D. Yes, in the word looked, how many vowel sounds are there? Only one. When mm. you Ma'am, who oh, oh, are there? No, ma'am. Only one vowel sound is there, na? This is the vowel sound. This E is silent. So there is only one vowel sound. So this is one syllable. Okay. Okay? Because E is silent. Okay. So... Those who did not attend this, I had shared this recording where we have done all these rules. So, is there any doubt in these rules, anyone? Um, Ma'am, uh, the side that you had posted where you had uh, mentioned all the rules. Yes. Ma'am, I'm not able to copy them. Is there a restri restriction over it? It yep. should not be there. Let me just check it out. But you can always use that link to read. Ma'am, if 
otherwise I'll type your uh, website name na. Yes. It, uh, uh, it doesn't come directly to that page. I'm not able to go directly to the page. No, but that link you can use to go directly. With, the, with that link, are you able to uh, go directly with the link? No, I'll try that again because right now the mobile is charging. Okay, okay. Any other doubt anyone has? I mean, even the syllabification rules are there in the link, no? the same link. That PDF yesterday I shared, no? Yes, ma'am. In that PDF, these syllabification rules are there. Okay. My laptop is having some problem. What are you asking? Selectification rule. Is there in this link? That is different, no? That PDF I have shared, no? Yesterday you shared, no? In YouTube, ma'am? Huh? No, no, no. In the WhatsApp group, yesterday I shared a PDF. Okay. See this one. I have shared the PDF in the WhatsApp group. Hmm? Which one, ma'am? No? Um, Q is uh, followed. It's not it's followed by that. It's always followed by uh, you. So that PDF. Can you see? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Okay, can you see the screen now? 100 spelling rules? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, why there is a U after G in some words? Can you tell catalog, way, guitar? There's a U. After G, U is there. What that? What is the role of that U? Whenever you have a next letter E I Y after G, what what happens? G becomes soft. Soft to protect soft. That hard G. To protect that hard G, U comes so that that magic doesn't happen. Okay. So, in the word guilty, okay, guide, because the next letter is E-I-Y. So, U comes to protect the hard G sound. Okay. In friend G is soft before E-I-Y, just as it is in English, but it has a special Z sound, okay. Some words uh, are there where you will find that it's not J, but Z. So that is because these are French words, okay? Now C H G H P H R H S H T H W H. What is common? H. Yes. So these are all are the diagrams with letter H, okay? So Ch, G H, G. It can be silent also, like straight, laugh. So it's not necessary that it gives the same sound. CH has different sounds, three sounds, like in chicken, in school, and chef. Ch, k, and sh. GH has different sounds. PH has only one sound. RH has only one sound. SH has only one sound. TH has two sounds, d and th. And WH has only one sound. Okay. Now, when you separate these CH, GH, PH, RH, SH, TH, WH, this observation helps the remedial students who generally tend to write in reverse. But here they know that these are diagrams having letter H, where H is the uh, following the second letter. So they will not make that mistake. Like in the word she, 
they might have uh, they might reverse but they know that sh as a diagram h will not come before s h comes at the second position okay. old wild rule we have done okay now in some words you will find that like uh, silent b is there when you say crumbs b is silent but when you say crumble why b is not silent So, in the word crumb, it's a small word, okay, M, V, and M, in it, as in lamb, and condemn, okay, climb, comb, thumb, bomb, dumb, we know that these are the, these are having silent B, or silent N, okay, but when these words have the longer version, then the silent B becomes loud. Okay? When a word where you have B silent is changed into the longer version, then that silent letter starts speaking. So, crumb is B, having B as silent, but crumble has the sound of letter B. So these are the examples where you will have B or N again started starting being sounding. Okay. The autumn does not have N uh, in the word autumn N is silent, but when you say autumnal, then N becomes loud. Okay. Condemn doesn't have the sound of N at the end, but condemnation, then N. So the longer version will have the sound. When does OW is used for our sound? OU gives our sound. So when do we use W? When do we use OW? O W spells this sound at the end of at the end of the syllable. If there is, if O A sound, uh, sorry, O sound is coming at the end of a syllable, then it is W. Okay, so mostly uh, you must have read about this that okay W comes at the end, Y comes at the end, but that's not the complete truth. The complete rule is at the end of a syllable not at the end of a word. So in the word tower, it's O-W. Towel, it's O-W. Coward, it is O-W. Allow, howl, down, brown, crowd. So when you have uh, at the end of how some coming at the end of a word, all we have already done before N, L or D, it is W. Ma'am, uh, ma according to the syllabification, we are writing there O W. If... Yes, you have to look at the uh, sound at the end of a syllable. End of the sound, O W we have to write. So... First, you will divide the word and then our sound at the end takes W. O W, uh, yes. So I think uh, we will do only this much today.